one thing with simplicity is also to not to confuse it with minimalism. It doesn't mean that you will end up with that single dot on the page. I think simplicity um, is about focus and really defining your the uh, the purpose or who you are and what you stand for as an organization, where you want to go. And once you have that, so that's uh, the, 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 the strategy, then everything will pare down to that. Then it's easier to, uh, to make choices, to be able to say, uh, yes and no, because you know you're going to that uh, to that single point. How you get there is a you should keep that open. You you think quite deeply about how you approach work and how it is applied. Can you talk a bit about? the Studio Dunbar philosophy and how you think about design and brands and how you approach them. Now, when we talk about the philosophy of Studio Dunbar, we always define it with pure, simple, and powerful. So purity is really, really important. It's where we try to get to the really the essence of a brand, uh, both strategically and creatively. And when it comes to simplicity, is to find the most simple uh, answer in it. And when we combine the two, if you have purity and simplicity, then we feel we get to a very powerful uh, result. But the way to get there and how we get there is, uh, is a long journey. For myself, I really believe in the strength of collaboration and, the, and working together. And that doesn't uh, only mean uh, between designers, but also in collaboration with our clients. You know, it doesn't mean that if you have a, a great design team, um, that you will have good results. You also need a good lead or a, somebody really great in finance or, uh, or even the person that picks up the phone every morning or says welcome at the door. It's really the power of everyone together to create the uh, good results. Can you talk about how you structure the teams and how they engage with the clients and how you see that sort of collaboration playing out at all the different levels? So when I started off uh, at uh, Dunbar, the designers were relatively isolated. You were, you know, it, I, I call it the... Uh, in a way, the ego generation, you had this single uh, designer, they're given a project, maybe there were two designers on the project, they both work out the answer to the, to the question. It was their, uh, you know, almost their creation. And that was what, uh, uh, that was presented. What we see now in, uh, in the last few years, also with the development of te technology, that you do get a lot of people, that a lot of specialists in um, in our in our field. So you can have you have a motion designer, a type designer, a creative coder, a visual designer, and they all come in with a different perspective um, on how to answer the question. But you need the the connection of all of them together. And it's that bringing in all the talent together to be able to answer a question. Everybody needs each other because, I mean, of course, they're, they're probably out there like these very talented people that can do every, everything, but these are quite specialist areas. So by using and working together, um, then we really, that's where I, what I call is teamwork, where you can really create something more than what just that one person can. That also happens with the collaboration with clients, the dialogue. We, we share sketches from very, very early on just to understand. Also, we're not, uh, you know, uh, we're not scared to share something, um, you know, whether it's bad or good, that dialogue really, really helps to get to the right result. So you don't go into that concept presentation and you say, and here is my, you know, concept and everybody is, uh, 
you know, like either they love it or hate it. They're already been part of the journey. Our clients can't see the simplicity in their world because they're too in it. They too, they've built it all. They've seen it take shape. They're married to every piece that they've invested thousands of blood, sweat, and tears and dollars into. How do you get them to let go and move down to something simple? One thing with simplicity is also to not to confuse it with minimalism. It doesn't mean that you will end up with that single dot on the page. I think simplicity is about focus and really defining your the uh, the purpose or who you are and what you stand for as an organization, where you want to go. And once you have that, so that's uh, the, 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 the strategy, then everything will pare down to that. Then it's easier to, uh, to make choices, to be able to say uh, yes and no, because you know you're going to that, uh, to that single point. How you get there, is it, you should keep that open because if you say, no, there's only one road and that's the only way, um, yeah, then, uh, yeah, journey might be not so exciting. I think with having that focus together, that helps in, uh, in uh, how you make uh, decisions and how you, I mean, not only visually, like what is the visual outcome, but also how you lead and uh, how you lead your uh, organization how you behave. Looking on a visual perspective, how does this purpose come to life? And there, it, it works exactly in the same way. By having that purpose, we can make design decisions that we can, um, uh, that we can pare down to, to, that, to uh, the answer. Hello, YouTube. I'm Ross Drakes. I'm the founder of Nice Work. And thank you so much for your time at watching this video. If you're seeing me, it means you made it all the way to the end. So we've at least done something right. If you enjoyed this, we'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And I think more important than that is if you know someone who might need to hear this, if you think someone out there who, who needs this, this message in their life, please spread the link because it, it makes a huge difference to the world and it allows us to fulfill our message of making sure that there are no more bad brands in the world. Thank you very much and we'll catch you in the next video.